So I was on Reddit the other day and someone was talking about having an issue store installing NordVPN on Fedora Silverblue. So this is the post here. Um, they were trying to execute the script from NordVPN and it was failing with an error saying oh, because you can't run RPM to install things on, on Fedora Silverblue or on any RPM OS tree based system. So I was trying to help here and I ended up making a copy of their script and adding in the functions required for RPM OS tree to work. Um, they still said it was failing for them. So, so what I wanted to do was try and build an environment in which I could reproduce this error because obviously it's not failing for me. So in this, in this video, let's take a look at the modifications I've made to the script and how I'm testing that uh, locally. And hopefully you can test it out as well and let me know if you have any issues. And I'm happy to accept pull requests to my GitHub repo um, with the script to try and improve things as well. So if we look at the install guide for NordVPN on Fedora, what they have you do is curl this bash script and then pipe it to shell. I mean, executing arbitrary code from strangers on the internet, when has that gone wrong for us? At least not in recent history. Um, that will go through, set up the, the repos. It'll determine the package manager you're using, get everything set up, install the dependencies so that you can start the service and then NordVPN login. So we'll need to take a look at that script. But what I've done is I reached out to the NordVPN folks and asked them if they could push that script to GitHub so that we can send pull requests to add in the required features for this to work on other distributions as well. I mean, maybe they need some kind of community flag, like these are community supported distros, these are officially supported distros, whatever it might be. I feel like it would be a better experience if NordVPN were more open with that script and we could contribute fixes and help them maintain it. So what I've done is I've created my own copy of this script that we will take a look at now. So over here on the terminal, so this is uh, the, the clone of my GitHub repo. So we take a look in my container file. So what we do here, if we had a look at this yesterday and what I was doing was copying in the NordVPN repo, but I really wanted a way to try and reproduce the failures that um, our friend over on Reddit was seeing. So I was hoping that by, if I build this in a container each time, maybe I would end up maybe I would end up hitting that issue eventually. So far I haven't been able to reproduce it. So I'm really interested if, if you want to give this a try and let me know if the script is working for you as well. And if it's not, feel free to um, contribute to that script and we can improve it collaboratively. So what we do is we just execute it in, in a layer of the container image and we make sure that um, it installs properly. So that will do the RPM OS tree install for us. We'll have a look at the script in a second and then we commit this layer. So what that commit does is you can see how mine has layered packages. So when you do this OS tree container commit, it just removes the layered package. It just creates a single single base layer image. So if I rebased onto my container that I'm building now, I wouldn't see these layered packages. That's all that does. So let's take a look at the diff between what I have and what they have. So we can see here that I have added some code to support Fedora Atomic. So Silverblue, Kinawat, etc. You could do it on Core OS as well, it should work. So we basically go through and check, we do a check command to see if RPM OS tree exists. Then since it does, we will get the install options for DNF if any exist, and we will append those install options. Then we set the repo to the RPM repo URL, and then we curl down the GPG key, put it in the right file, and then we just cut out the, the repo. So this is the NordVPN repo. We set the base URL to the URL um, up here, and we set the GPG key. And then we just do an RPM OS tree install NordVPN. So that's all we're doing. So yeah, this is what was failing for our friend on, on Reddit. So like I haven't been able to reproduce this. I spun up a brand new um, silver blue instance and tried to reproduce it and I couldn't so I thought maybe if I put it into a container file and share it on the internet other people will be able to take a look at it and we'll see if anyone else has the issue but to use the container file so I just I recently did built the Kinoite one so we'll use Kinoite and we just want to make sure that this layer gets executed so we can see it in our output so we'll just echo test and then run it so that layer has been changed and it should recreate that layer now. 
So we'll do a podman build. All right, so we can see here that it's now running the script, so it's downloading the script from um, my GitHub and it's determined that the RPM OS tree command does exist. And now we can see that it's setting up the NordVPN repos and it's installing the NordVPN uh, binary. So we can see there that uh, it's installed NordVPN. So it can't do the networking things and I don't think that matters. That's that's not what we're testing anyway. The main thing I was testing was that it actually installs the, um, the NordVPN binary. So we can see that that works and then when it does the next RPM OS tree install, we can see that we still have the NordVPN repo active. So it still exists on this system. Okay, so we can see there that it has finished building the RVAC container and it has done the commit to that layer. So, okay, so if we wanted to rebase onto that image now, what we can do is a RPM OS tree, rebase OS tree, unverified registry, because no one's verified my registry. Oh, I need to push it first, podman push. Okay, so we'll push that up to my registry and then we can just rebase straight onto that image. But the, the main purpose of building that container was just to create something that would hopefully be able to reproduce that failure, which it wasn't. So my request to everyone who watches this video is, does it fail for you if you run that script? And if it does, can you suggest anything that might improve that script? Um, feel free to send through a pull request. I'm definitely happy to Accept pull requests on that repo and we can collaboratively improve that script and the way it performs until NordVPN want to publish their own. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope that is useful if you're trying to use NordVPN on Silverblue or CoreOS or any other RPM OS tree based system. And if you have any other questions, feel free to hit in the comments below. Thanks.